Chief Kenneth Benjamin's ruling on the challenge of Section 53 two weeks ago remains a divisive issue. Last week, Prime Minister Dean Barrow indicated that the government would embark on an educational campaign to inform the public more on what the ruling means. Today, Attorney General Vanessa Retreat was a guest on Love FM's morning show along with CEO Judith Alpuche. The Attorney General said contrary to reports in some quarters, the Constitution has not been changed. There is the allegation or, or people have been saying that what has happened is that the Constitution has been changed no. and that is not yeah. so. What has happened is that the court has interpreted the Constitution to ensure rights of persons are protected and it has what we call in law blue penciled legislation to bring it into conformity with the Constitution. Rutridge explained the wording of Section 53 saying that in no way does this encourage pedophiles. Section 53 before was every person who has carnal intercourse against the order of nature with any person or animal shall be liable to imprisonment for 10 years. So that you will note that it refers to carnal intercourse against the order of nature. Now section 53 reads as follows. Every person who has carnal intercourse against the order of nature with any person or animal shall be liable to imprisonment for 10 years. Same wording as before, with the addition of this section shall not apply to consensual sexual acts between adults in private. So there are three things that you must satisfy for it not to be criminalized. Mm -hmm. It has to be consensual mm -hmm. between adults and, and in, in, private. in private. So that those persons that are alarmed and feel that this offers protection to pedophiles in any way ought not to be alarmed because there are the three criteria you need to satisfy and that is consensual, mm -hmm. adults and private. The Attorney General was asked if the court had the right to address the issue. Word to ensure that the principles enshrined in the Constitution are protected and I think an important distinction has to be made. While the courts are empowered to I referred to it earlier as blue penciling and that is simply to insert words into any offending law. So they are empowered to do that in relation to laws that are, if I may use the term, subsidiary to the, to the Constitution. So the criminal code is one such act. Mm. They are not allowed to do it to the Constitution. So that, but, but the court must interpret the Constitution in accordance with evolving standards of decency. So, and, and the judge made that specific point. So while we can blue pencil legislation and amend legislation by the court, and it's perfectly permissible for them to do that as a matter of law, the same cannot be done in relation to the Constitution. And so he interpreted the Constitution and blue penciled legislation. And that is perfectly permissible by law. She went on to explain just what the judgment means. The judgment simply gave, recognized the right to privacy of consenting adults. That is what the judgment did. To put it quite simply, that is what it did. It recognized in relation to Section 53. It recognized that in relation to the Constitution, in determining how, in determining whether or not somebody has been discriminated against, it will include in the interpretation of the word sex, sexual orientation. And sexual orientation is simply the preference to have sex with women, men, whatever that preference may be. A section of the religious community has planned a series of protests to voice their discontent with the ruling. The first of such is planned for tomorrow in Belmopan.